good morning today before starting our class you see your revision exercise question some students asked me about they did not get the question that is why question i written here in that revision exercise total 9 questions given out of that 9 question first 5 question given from lesson 1 that is from set and from lesson 2 integer that both the chapter we did not complete okay that is why from the from the fraction chapter some question question number 6 what those questions given from the fraction chapter that i written here question number 6 find the following in that 3 questions are there 1 2 and 3 and question number 7 one video i already shown and i sold on the board and you may complete it that also okay and question number 8 is written here in that question out of the fraction 5 upon 7 4 upon 9 6 upon 11 2 upon 5 and 3 upon 4 find the difference between largest fraction and the smallest fraction here 6 fractions are given and this 6 fraction unlike fraction given okay so first of all you have to convert this unlike fraction into like fraction then find the smallest and the largest and then you have to find the difference between that okay and by doing it any question you have any doubt please note it down and the doubts will be clarified in the class later okay and after eighth one more question is there that i am writing now now this is the last question question number nine this one i written here and now you you can solve the questions easily and if any one of you completed already the revision exercise question number 1 to 9, no problem, you can do this simple question only given 1 to 5, but that question it is given from chapter 2 integers, okay. So those who can do, do that also and others, if anyone did not get the question, you can see the question and do the work, okay. Already the school has sent you the PDF file for lesson fraction and decimal. And if any doubt, you can see the question from that file also. Okay. Now, let us start our today's class. Okay. Now, let us begin our today's class. Today, we are going to discuss about the multiplication of decimals. In multiplication of decimal, first of all, we will see how we can multiply a decimal number by 10 or higher power of 10. 10 or higher power of 10. Higher power of 10, you already know. High power of 10 means 100, 1000, 10,000 like numbers. Okay. So, listen here one example. One number 32.17. I written one decimal number here. If you have to multiply this decimal by 10. Easily without any step directly you can write the answer. You just shift the point to the right by one place. If it is multiplication by 10. In 10 only 1 0. That is why this point will shift to right side by one place that is that way your answer is 321.7 this point here we put after one digit to the right side ok see one more example if it is 32.17 same number will taken if it is multiplied by 100 see how the answer will come for multiplication by 100, you have to just shift the decimal point to the right by two places. See here, this point is here. From this side, you have to shift to shift after two digits, 1 and 2. So, this point will come after 7. See, after 7, there is no digit. That is why there is no digit after the point. So, you can write the answer 3, 2, 1, 7. Okay. See, another example, if it is... 32.17 multiplied by 1000. Here multiplication by 1000 are given. Same way, if you have to multiply a decimal number by 1000, here also you just shift the point. You have to put the point after 3 digit. But in the question, after the point only 2 digit given. So you can, first of all, you can put 1 0. Now it is, it is 3 digit here. So you can shift this point. This point will come after 3 digit. After 0, there is no digit. So, your answer is 3, 2, 1, 7, 0. This way, you can multiply a decimal number easily by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 like that. Okay, if anyone have confusion how this number is, how this point is shifted, one another method is also there that I am showing now. See now, same example we are taking, 32.17 multiplied by 10. 
and you know just you forget about this point actually how you are doing the multiplication of 10 we have to just put 1 0 at the right hand side the same way we are writing 3 2 1 7 we written without a point and this 0 1 0 we written after getting the answer how you have to do in the question there are two digit after the point so in the answer also there should be two digits so we are counting from the right side 1 2 your answer is 3 2 1 point 7 0 3 2 1 point 7 0 is equal to 321 point 7 the same answer we got in the first method also by the above 0 here in the decimal number the right hand side 0 right hand 0 is has no value if we are putting 0 and then if without 0 also the number has same value that means 321.70 is equal to 321.7 now see the multiplication by 100 32.17 multiplied by 100 here also without considering the point we just multiplying this number by 100 so we return the number with our point 3217 in 100 two zeros are there so we put the two zeros here now see the question in question two digits are given after the point so here also two digits this one two so the point will come here and you got 3217.00 after point zero zero so that is equal to 3217 here also same answer you got and last example 32.17 multiplied by 1000 here also same way first without the point you are writing the number 3217 and 1000 three zeros are here put the zeros and in the question two digit after the point so we are putting the point after two digit one two see your answer is 3000 32170 that is 0.00 that is equal to 32170 so in both method you got the same answer any one method which is easy for you that method you can use for doing the multiplication of decimal by 10 100000 etc okay now let us move to the next question now let us see how we can multiply a decimal number by a whole number see this question number 4 Total 9 questions are given in that question number 4 and here showing only 2 questions, question number 3 and question number 7 I will do, okay. So listen, in this third question, 87.6 multiplied by 8, this is a decimal number given and down 8 it is a whole number given. For doing the multiplication of a decimal number by a whole number, simple way, the simple multiplication you have to do, see how to do, here 8, 6 are 48, 4 remainder. 8 7 are 56 plus 4 60 6 remainder and 8 8 are 64 plus 6 70 so it is one digit multiplication multiplication is over after completing the multiplication you have to check the question see in this question only one digit is given after the point so in the answer also there should be one digit after the point so already I said whenever you are counting the number you have to start counting from the ones place or from the right side. So one digit. So your answer of this question is 700.8. Simple question only. Same simple multiplication you have to do. Without considering the point first of all multiply the number and after getting the answer you have to put the point. Okay. Now see the next question. Question number 7 I written here. 324.42 multiplied by 150. 324.42 decimal number and 150 a whole number given. So multiplication by 3 digit number. First we are multiplying this number by 5. 5 twos are 10. 1 remainder. 5 fours are 20 plus 1. 21. 2 remainder. 5 fours are 20 plus 2. 22. Again 2 remainder. 5 twos are 10 plus 2. 12, 1 remainder, 5 threes are 15 plus 1, 16. Okay, so here multiplication by 5 is over. And remember, whenever you are doing the multiplication of a decimal number, no need of putting the point here. Only in the last answer you have to put the comma. Okay, now we are multiplying this number by 1. 1 twos are 2, 1 fours are 4, 1 fours are 4, 1 twos are 2, and 1 threes are 3. Uh, next number also, 1 only, we are multiplying that. 
वन टू जार टू वन फोर जार फोर वन फोर जार फोर वन टू जार टू वन थ्री जार थ्री नाउ वी हेव टू आड दिस नंबर्स एडिशन वी आर डूइंग हियर जीरो हियर थ्री हियर फोर प्लस टू सिक्स प्लस टू एट एंड फोर प्लस टू सिक्स प्लस फोर टेन वन रिमेंड सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन प्लस टू नाइन प्लस फोर थर्टीन वन रिमेंड टू प्लस थ्री फाइव प्लस टू सेवन एंड हियर थ्री so multiplication and here addition is also over but now you have to check the question see in the question how many digits are given after the boy here two digit one and two so in the answer also there should be two digit after the point so one two so your answer is answer is 337308.30 okay now let us move to the next type of question Okay, now see question number fourth, ninth one. One another type of question given, same type only, but in this decimal number. See the decimal number given, zero point zero 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 nine multiplied by seven hundred twenty nine. This is a whole number given, and this is the decimal number. Okay, so for doing this multiplication easily, before the point, before after the point, these three zeros are given. So there is no need of multiplying by zeros. Easily, you just multiply this seven hundred twenty nine. By nine, for easy calculation, you can do like this way. Okay, nine nine is eighty one. Eight remains. Nine two is eighteen plus eight twenty six. Two remains, and seven nine is sixty three plus two sixty five. Okay, after multiplying this seven hundred twenty nine into nine, you got six thousand five hundred sixty one. Now you write the answer. See zero point zero 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 nine. Multiplied by seven twenty nine is equal to. Now you check how many digits are given in the question after the point one two three four. And see your answer multiplication answer is six five six one. Only four digits one two three four. So you have to write zero point six five six one. This way. If in any question the zeros are given, you can do the multiplication easily like this way. Okay. Now I will explain question number five. Now see this question. Question number five multiplication only. And again question number five both the numbers given decimal number. Here also just do the simple multiplication only without considering the point you do the multiplication. At last in the last answer you have to put the point according to the question given. Okay. So here your question is. Seven point six eight multiplied by two point one two. First, we are multiplying this number by two. Eight two is sixteen. One remainder. Six two is twelve plus one thirteen. One remainder. Seven two is fourteen plus one fifteen. Multiplication by two is over. Now we are multiplying this number by one. One eight is eight. One six is six. One seven is seven. Okay. Now multiplication by two. Two eights are sixteen. One remainder. Six twos are twelve plus one thirteen. One remainder. Seven twos are fourteen plus one fifteen. So multiplication by all three digits is completed. Now you have to add these numbers. Okay, this one six. Three plus eight eleven. One remainder. Five plus one six. Six plus six twelve. Twelve plus six eighteen. One remainder. One plus one. Two plus seven nine plus three twelve one remainder five plus one six and here one. So we got the answer. And after getting the answer, what you have to do? You have to put the point. See in two both the number you have to count how many digits are here. One two here also two. So one two three four. Total four digits are given after the point. So in the answer also you have to count. There should be. Four digit after the point, so you have to count from the right side. One, two, three, four. So you have to put the point here. So the answer of this question is sixteen point two eight one six. Okay, now see the next question. Question number seven. I written here zero point zero eight multiplied by zero point four nine. 
okay in this number zeros are given so for easy calculation you just avoid zeros and just multiply the numbers only so here i am taking 0.49 taking as 14 again and 0.08 you can take only 8 do the multiplication 9 8s are 72 7 is remainder 8 fours are 32 plus 7 39 so multiplication is over 392 but this is not your answer you have to find answer of this decimal number so for getting answer what you have to do write the question 0.08 multiplied by 0.49 is equal to see in the question count the number of digit after the point here 1 2 3 4 total four digits are there after the point but see your answer only three digit so you have to make it four digit after the point for that you have to just put one zero that digit will come before the point then we put point and again one zero then three nine two this zero by we put because for making this digit after the point we need a four digit that is why we put one zero in the decimal the first digit you have to put as zero so the answer of this question is zero point 0392 okay now you just see the homework okay now this is your today's homework total 10 questions are given all the type of question multiplication by 10 100 1000 given and multiplication of decimal by a whole number given and multiplication if both the number decimal that also given so this 10 questions only you have to do in your notebook Okay, every class, ask, whenever I am giving the homework, I am saying what questions you have to do. Then also some students are asking me which question you have to do in the notebook. Okay, first listen the class carefully and do accordingly. Once again, I am repeating. Today you have to do these ten questions in the notebook. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.